and you know, obviously you and players have told you constantly to shoot. Uh, so uh, when you took that last three, there was no hesitation on that. Just maybe speak to that play. Um, you know, a good draw by Mont. Um, as always, I mean, he's unbelievable with the X's and O's. Um, and really just all I can speak to is our execution down the stretch. That's the biggest piece. Uh, me shooting a corner jump shot is the smallest of it. You know, it's about the details. If you go back and look at it, you know, we ran it to a T from what, you know, coach drew up. You know, Mikel gets a good screen. Biz gets a good screen. Um, our timing was perfect when me and Mikel first exchanged. And, um, I ended up just opening the corner and I've, you know, shot a million of those. So um, at that point, you know, just it is what it is. We executed, shoot the ball and uh, live with the result, went in. How, how does it feel though to, to know what you guys have went through as a team and then for you to hit a shot like that? Yeah, I mean, we just find ways to win games uh, regardless. It starts with, you know, today campaign being out, you know, finding that out last minute, next man up. You know, EP and Aaron stepping into that role and, and playing well. Um, and then, you know, obviously Jay gets hurt and then no Chris, obviously. And then Book fouls out, DA fouls out. Like things kept getting thrown at us. And, you know, we just find ways to win games. It's just our MO. It's been our MO this year. Um, and it's going to be incredibly valuable for us moving forward uh, to, to have these experiences under our belt. I do want to ask just about possible frustration or obvious frustration how the game was going. How were you guys able to overcome that? Because it's basketball. Okay. It's basketball. Um, if you're hinting at officiating or whatever, like we can't control any of that. Whether it's good or bad, whether we get every whistle or no whistle, um, you know, that's just part of it. Some nights it's going to be that way. It's, you know, you're not going to get every call or you're going to get every call. You know, we've been in that position too. There's been a couple of times. So, um, just a matter of staying steady and controlling what we can control. And, you know, that's what we tried to do tonight. Last thing I had was just uh, what was the mood like in the locker room? I know I, I, I get it. I get the bigger picture. But again, when you go through all of that, oh, yeah. and you still win. What was the locker feels room? great to win a game like that. Of course, you know, very much a team effort, you know, collectively. Everybody pitched in at different moments. It, it comes into the game. Right for 16 seconds and two of the biggest defensive possessions of the game, you know, like that doesn't go unnoticed either. You know, that's big time. Like a guy on a two way who works his ass off every day. We see him unbelievable teammate stays ready. Coach says, I need you to come in and guard. And this says, I got it, you know, and like that type of camaraderie and our energy collective, you know, that collective fight that we had, it feels um, it, these, these types of wins feel, feel really good. Landry, I know, like you said, a long way to go. But when you have that kind of vibe in a locker room, and considering that you've been around a number of locker rooms at this point, just where is that call of confidence level or swagger at for this whole group right now? Because it, I mean, it's the most dominant team in the league right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we have pieces from, you know, guys in the locker room who keep keep things light. I don't know if y'all see our little, you know, pregame tunnel routine or whatever, all the handshakes that, you know, just us acting stupid for four minutes and in an 82 game season, like, you know, games can, can get a little mundane and that keeps it, you know, very light. That's a big piece. We got great guys in our locker room who can, you know, provide that type of energy. Uh, we all compete. Um, we all trust each other, believe in each other, you know, empower each other. I've been saying that all year. Um, I mean, from a locker room and a cohesiveness standpoint, like we've we've got every piece, you know, all the intangibles in that sense. So uh, great leadership, you know, we got everything. So um, the best locker room I've been a part of for sure. Um, it's fun, you know, love these guys. And, you know, we all fight for each other, like I was saying. I think you're 10 and four now since Chris got hurt. I mean, not that, you know, I mean, you guys knew what you could do before that, but was this stretch important? To, to yeah, up else. I mean, every every stretch, you know, like I was saying, you know, regardless of what gets thrown at us, I've, you know, I've seen in the playoffs where, you know, somebody gets hurt or, you know, you just have to go different routes. Guy fouls out. What do we do now? Um, and we've been thrown into these situations all year long, you know, where um, you just have to find ways to win those games. Um, and the way we play doesn't change. It doesn't drop off or 
change in terms of how we play as a team um, with or without those guys on the floor. And obviously, you know, Chris and Book are top of the top, some of the best players in the league, um, and they make us that much better. But just having that ability to have no drop off or change in how we play um, is very important. So, yeah, the stretch, you know, going into the playoffs alone is, is very important. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Appreciate y'all.